Post match from World Team Tennis, we're here with Mary Jo Fernandez. How do you think you played out there today, I Mary? I actually did better than I expected. Um, it was a lot of fun uh, to be out there, and um, you know the team atmosphere is always great. I played team tennis four years. Um, when I was still playing professionally and it's so much fun and so competitive and it came down to the wire and that makes it even more exciting for everybody. It was very exciting with a super tiebreaker at the end. How was the crowd, the Australian crowd? Did they warm to it in the end, do you think? I think they did. I think they were getting a hang of it. Um, you know, you got to get used to the rules and playing the lets and no ad and um, being able to substitute. But uh, I think once you get into it and the fans see that they can actually be part of it, it makes it more exciting. We even saw you asking some questions to Billie Jean right there just for some cl clarification on the rules uh, exactly. in the Super the Tie Super Break. break. I had never been part of the Super Tie Break before, so that was uh, quite unique and um, I didn't know where to serve at the beginning, but we got it all under control. So are you looking to come out here again to Australia and play some tennis to our crowd? I would love to. It's my favorite place. So I, I had great results here, great memories, and I would love to be back. Thank you, Mary Jo Fernandez. Thank you. So we're here with Billie Jean King with AustralianOpen.com, the brainchild of World Team Tennis. Now, Billie, tell me, how did the Australian crowd, crowd like it today? Do you think they warmed to World Team Tennis? Yeah, I think they'd be unbelievable. Can you imagine uh, how good it could be? I mean, it takes a few times to see it, but they saw all the possibilities today when they, when Australia fought back and got it into the super tiebreaker. Uh, and I. It's, it's amazing to win 22-20 when they're down. I can't remember how many they were down by. Was it four or five? I don't know. Uh, but uh, Rafter really did well. And uh, it was great having the three generations. I really like that when you have the young ones and you have the older ones. And then you have the ones who are playing on the regular tour like we have in our league at home. But today was, uh, we want to thank Tennis Australia for inviting us down here um, and showcasing our format for the first time uh, Outside of the United States, the first time since the 70s. We were in Russia a couple times, but this is the first time really. And we did name it World Team Tennis for a reason. It's supposed to be, uh, we'd like to spread now, and so hopefully we can come back to Australia. Uh, it'd be great if the people uh, out at the recreational level, out at the clubs and uh, different facilities throughout Australia could start playing this format. It's really fun. Uh, it's very competitive, but it's also very social. Uh, and there's a lot of strategy involved and we really feature coaches too. We think coaching is really valuable and uh, we think it's really important for the players when they're sitting on the bench to get immediate feedback from the coach. Uh, we thought about a lot of things but we thought about having uh, equal contribution by both genders so you have men and women con contributing equally so it's really fantastic for everybody. The kids see uh, the players, uh, men and women cooperating, it really sets a good example for real life. So you learn a lot of life lessons in this, how to get along. You learn how to uh, step up and be a leader. You learn how to also be very supportive of your team. And those are all the different things we thought about when we, when there's uh, many of us who contributed to thinking this up as we went. And, and you know, we're very open to new ideas for it. Uh, we're, we're kind of the, like the think tank for the sport. Uh, we're the first ones to have had music and tennis. We're the first ones to let people uh, keep the balls. And we, we, we're the first ones to hit into the stands. We're the first ones to uh, play the lets on the serve. Uh, you know, so I, I think uh, we've really pushed regular tennis um, to do a lot of the same things that we started, like the music and hitting the balls and the, having the players hit balls into the All these different things that are starting to evolve over time that people think is just normal. Um, it, it's, so it's fun. 